Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, I want to answer one of the most frequently asked questions I get, which is, what export settings do I use from iMovie if I'm going to be making a DVD? So if you're making home videos and using iMovie or anything, Final Cut Pro for instance, uh, you may want to make some DVDs from them using DVD software like the old iDVD or something like Toast. And a question I get is, okay, I have my video done. What export settings do I use to export the video in that step so then I can make a DVD? Well the answer is not to worry about it too much. You see what a lot of people don't realize is that when you make a DVD it's going to re-encode all the video. You see DVDs don't use the compression format that you're exporting from iMovie. So whether you're using say an MP4 set to H.264 or some other format that's not going to be used at all. That's just going to be taken as a source video and converted to a format that's standard across all DVD players that have ever been made. It's a version of MPEG-2. If you really want to read about it, you can go to the DVD video page at Wikipedia and there's all sorts of details. But basically the most important thing to realize is that it's 720 by 40. It's standard definition, not high definition, because DVDs were around way before high definition. So if you have high definition video, which you most likely have from your iPhone or your camera, whatever you've got now, it's all high definition, uh, it's really going to be much higher than what you're going to be able to put on a DVD. Go back and take a look at episode 440 of MacMost now where I explain how DVDs are not high definition videos. They are standard definition videos. So chances are you have something much better than what you're going to be able to put on the DVD. So how do you export it in the right settings? so that you can then put it on a DVD. Well because the video is going to be recompressed no matter what settings you use, don't worry too much about getting the settings perfect. As a matter of fact you should just simply try to use the best settings that you can. So for instance if I go to share and export movie in iMovie here, I've got all these different settings here at the bottom. And what I want to do is I just want to use the highest one. So in this case I can use 1080p and that's because the video, the, the source video is 1080 here. If for instance I was only using 720p video then it wouldn't give me this option because it wouldn't make sense to actually export at a higher quality than the source video. Uh, so I would then choose the highest quality which would probably be 720p. So you just want to choose the highest one that you can here, export it to give the DVD converter, whether it's iDVD or Toast or something else, the best possible video to work with. So converting from the highest possible quality video to DVD video will give it uh, the best results. Now if I'm in a rush and I just want to get something done real quick and it's 1080p I may suit do 720p anyway just because it'll export from my movie a little faster. It'll convert probably a little faster. It's a smaller file size um, and I'm probably not going to notice the difference too much. Going from 720 down to 480 as opposed to 1080 down to 480 it's probably not going to be too much of a difference. But if I was making a nice DVD and I wanted to make sure I got the best thing, I would use the highest setting. Remember, whatever you do, this is just a temporary version of your movie. You can actually use this to create the DVD and then get rid of it because you're not using it for anything else. You've got your original iMovie uh, source project and then you've got your DVD which would be uh, created with the other software and this is kind of the intermediate format to go from one to the other. Now some people mention, well you can create these high definition DVDs, uh, these special formatted things that you can put them in Blu-ray players and they will read the DVD disc and show a high definition video. But remember if you're doing that it's not going to work on a standard DVD player. So anybody that's just got a regular DVD player in their living room isn't going to be able to access that disc at all. You're going to need that special like Blu-ray disc player or whatever supports that format that you're using. So if you want something really standard, it's going to be DVD, it's going to be 480p standard definition video and you're just going to export from iMovie at the highest quality possible to give to your DVD creation software. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.